Autobots and Decepticons, my name is Soulmonger, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to The Transformers! In this episode, we are going to be playing as Blur, hence the intro at hyper speed. I'm excited to get this started. I did try to record this a little bit ago, but I was going to be RC, and for some reason, when I select RC as the main character, my game just freezes up. I don't know what it is. The game is kind of scratched up in the back, so maybe I had just happened to have wherever she is on that game disc scratched. Or maybe she is just off limits to me, Rodimus Prime and Springer. Is no one good enough for the lovely RC? That can't be, that can't be. But I also did see that there was a gallery. So at the end of the video, I will insert in her transformation and stuff like that at the, the very end after I get done showing off Blur here. I might also purposely die and show off Cup as well just because we are starting to get a lot of characters and I want to show them off but I still want to maintain my status with Rodimus Prime throughout the levels so that it makes it easier for me because if you guys don't already know I do play a lot of these missions over and over and over again and here we go we're going to the gem mine but I do play a lot of these missions over and over again I just have to edit them and then you if you're watching this right now you understand already Anyways, let's get this started with Blur. We're going to talk about him. He's a pretty cool character. I'm very much excited. To the minds that hold gems! So, this is the mine. It looks like it. Wheeljack, what can you tell us about this place? It's called the Atalston Mine. It's a mine for extracting energy, but jewels and precious fossils have been found here as well. When something out of the ordinary is found, a new shaft is created and mining begins at that place. And since that sort of thing seems to happen here a lot, the mine has grown to an enormous size. Sounds pretty sketchy to me, but I guess it does the job. Yeah? Well, it seems this time they have found a large, mysterious crystal. A crystal? Is it beautiful? Well, being raw ore, I can't imagine it's pretty to look at. Actually, it's a bit of a mystery. It appears that it was already polished and refined when it was found. Quite strange, really. They sent a team to investigate. If the Decepticons catch wind of this, they'll be here for sure. If they attacked down in the mine, it would be a disaster. Warn the investigation team. And contact the mine managers and tell them to evacuate their people and let us take over the investigation. Roger, Commander. If the crystal is Zell Quartz, we can't let the Decepticons get their oily hands on it. Commander, we gotta hustle. Of course. Let's choose party members. So, a beautiful crystal. This'll be fun. Fun? Is that what you think? You bet. <laughs> You still have a lot to learn about a woman's heart. <sighs> Maybe so. Times like this, I see the difference between Springer and Rodimus. But RC, this isn't some kind of pleasure cruise we're going on. I won't forget that. No way. Good. Right. Let's get started with preparations. How was I not mentioned in RC's inner monologue? How? Just how? And bummer for RC, we're not going on some sort of pleasure cruise. I mean, come on! The jokes are getting just better and better in this game as we go along. And we should include RC on our journey. She can't come as a main character, but why not bring her along on this pleasure cruise? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not, it's not one of those. But... She wants it to be one secretly. Yes, she does. And don't tell anyone, but I want it to be one too. Anyways, here we go. We're going to select Rodimus Prime as our secondary character. And of course, let's bring her in. The lovely RC that we cannot play as a main character because she is OP. And she is always seeking out pleasure cruises. So we are going to put these guys in our normal, well... Yeah, why not? Let's put them in our normal positions, right in front here so they can suck up the bulk. And 
We're gonna try out Blur here. I'm excited about this. These dialogues, oh my gosh. If you guys aren't laughing at them by now, I don't know. It's either you're laughing at them or you're just smacking yourself in the face or you've already walked out of this playthrough by now. Anyways, here we go. The giant crystal is in the deepest part of the mine. According to our information, it hasn't been dug out and is still half buried. But what I'm really worried about are the Decepticons. They got here before us and are most likely waiting in ambush for us. We have to hurry to the crystal and ensure its safety. All right, Autobots, let's roll out. It's fighting time. Thanks, Commander from the iPad. Here we are with our buddy, Blur. Blur is positively, absolutely the fastest thing at Cybertron. Here he goes, really fast, 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 fast. He can get his butt kicked really quickly. Look at this. Look at how good he is at that. Anyways, he's pretty cool. And honestly, there is not much more to say about Blur other than that he is the fastest of the fast and he can push attack buttons real, real fast. Faster than the Flash. And Mr. Decepticon got his butt kicked faster than anyone else in the past. So he is kind of like a delivery guy too. In the meantime, he's like the one-man UPS <laughs> at the the Autobot headquarters. And let's check out his car form here. Whoa! Ooh! Little zig, little zag. I would have liked to see a more hyper speed, but that that works too. That's pretty sweet. So he pretty much delivers packages, and if you need something, he is your guy. No matter what the weather is, he will deliver it. He is basically like an updated, faster version of the Pony Express. And look at that. Look at how fast we beat that area with him. He's the man. That a boy, Blur. That a boy. And let's check out some more of his abilities. He's got a slide kick. He does seem pretty fast here. I'm not going to continue to beat him. I just wanted to show him off here. Just You guys all know I want to continue with Rodimus Prime so he gets stronger and stronger. Because eventually we're going to have to beat Megatron and Galvatron. And I don't think they're going to be a pushover. And who knows? Maybe even Unicron or somebody like that. So I'm going to cut forward here. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. So I'm going to cut forward here, and we're going to show you guys Cup. And I'm going to try to show RC off again, but if I can't, I'll just show you guys her transformation in the gallery. All right, guys, here we are with the oldest bot in history. No, I'm just kidding. But he is pretty old. He is old enough to be your grandpa. We have Cup. Cup is a pretty cool character. He has been through it all, the thick, the thin, the good, the bad, and he will definitely sit down and tell you about it. In fact, the Dinobots love hearing Cup's war stories, and so do I. Cup's a pretty cool character, and he is one of the characters that is always going to be there for you. He's very patient, and he will tell you about his experience to try to help you out on your journey. He's basically the old wise Autobot, which is pretty cool. Cup is a good guy, and you better watch out, Blur. He looks like he's pretty fast, too. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Well, we're going to finish off the Decepticons here quick. And this area is extremely dark. It is very hard to see what is going on for me. And I had to crank my brightness all the way up. And we have beaten this area with Cup. I've said that I am not able to show you guys RC specials, although I have noticed that they're kind of are recycling them now over and over and over again. So I don't think you're missing out on too much, but I will try to get that working in the future if I can. Otherwise, her secret moves will just remain a mystery just like every other lady out there. Women. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Anyways, mission failed. That's a game over, and if the gallery shows off anything other than her transformations, I will bring that to you next. Otherwise, see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, click the screen for more awesome videos over at BroBraz. Have a great day.